So this is pretty straightforward. We open up our groups and we start adding our groups. So we open up our drives and we start adding our groups to our drives. I'm going to add exec. And in this case, I'm going to make exec the manager and give them the top level of permissions. Now we've got lots of different permissions here. I'll go through all the permissions in a second, but manager is basically the owner permission. And I do something that's pretty important here. I actually go back and I remove myself. As long as I'm a member of the, the group that's a manager, I can then remove myself so that it's only the group that is listed there. Now, why do I do that? Number one, it looks a bit cleaner. But number two, in the visual section here on the right-hand side, where it shows the members in the groups, I like to do a visual scan and check that there's only groups added. There's not individual people added to any of the shared drives. And you'll see we're reasonably compliant with that in our production account. Here we go. Groups, 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 groups. This one, oh, that's got a bunch of external people, but they really should be in a group. But anyway, groups, groups, groups. Now, the reason for that is it just keeps your permissions tidier and it keeps you in good practice and good hygiene in only sharing these with groups. So it's a two-step process. You add the correct group, you make sure you're in that group, and then you can remove yourself from there. Now, when we set these up, you can, of course, have multiple groups. I wouldn't add multiple groups to exec. We'll demo that in another one. But you can set different levels for each person that's involved or each group, rather, that's involved. So manager is the obvious one. You can do everything. Content manager, add, edit, move, delete, and share content. Again, pretty straightforward. This is someone you would probably something you'd probably give to you know, managers in the business. Contributor, add, edit, share files. Importantly, can't move, can't delete. Most of your team, if you've got a large team, could probably just use the contributor role. This is especially important if you're an accounting firm. We have an accounting firm on the call. If you're an accounting firm and you've got highly sensitive information on your clients and you wanna keep that organized and it's just not acceptable to lose someone's tax return from three years ago because someone accidentally clicked the wrong button in Google Drive and you didn't notice and it went to the bin and after 30 days it disappeared. I mean, I'd argue for most people, you've got some kind of content in your business that's going to be highly sensitive, whether or not it's client data. You don't want stuff to accidentally disappear. So that's why I really like this contributor role. It's not because I don't trust people. It's because accidents happen. You know, we all fumble from time to time. If you've ever like been dragging your mouse across the screen and you accidentally pick up a folder and drop that folder into another folder and then the folder disappears. Oh, where did my folder go? And I don't know. And I've got 50 folders and then it's gone. We've all done that, right? No one's immune to stuff like that. This saves you from that kind of stuff and it saves you from your team doing that kind of stuff as well. So that is the contributor role. That's my recommendation to use most of the time. Commenter, pretty straightforward, a lot more restrictive, but still useful. Viewer for people who literally just need to view stuff. So exec, we're gonna leave as this, the exec team are there, that's pretty straightforward. Chris is on the exec team. So Chris can see the exec team there. Uh, and Chris, maybe drop a document or two into there, that'd be great. So Chris will automatically see that in her shared drives. That will have automatically popped up already. All right, cool. So let's go and do finance now. So again, we're gonna add exec here and we're gonna add exec as a manager. And then I'm gonna go and remove myself. So it's just exec. We're gonna add team, which is everyone. And I'm probably just gonna give the team contributor access to this one, especially useful if there's you know lots of client files in there. And then what do I need to do? Exec, I'm gonna have full permissions. Now, some businesses, instead of doing finance, they'll just have like managers or leaders. I'll use the finance team as an example here. I'll say, right, well, I'm gonna give Jericho the ability to delete stuff. So it's not, not that I'm the only one who can move and delete stuff. We've got Jericho who can help out with that. And let's remove myself. So now the team account is set up. I've got the exec team who can do absolutely everything. I've got the finance team or leaders who can delete stuff and move stuff around, do the, you know, the drive tidy up when it's needed. And then I've got the whole company who are contributors, add, edit, share, and they can put stuff in, but, but not take stuff out or delete it. That's set up nicely there. If someone wants to move files into a shared drive, you've all seen the warning, I'm sure. We drag and drop a file in, it pops up and says, hey, do you wanna change your ownership? And this works exactly the same way for external accounts. If a Gmail account, if someone outside your business is trying to put something in your file, it will give them this prompt. And the moment they hit yes, 
it's owned by the company. It's no longer owned by the individual. So in our shared drives, contractors is the last one we want to do. Exec, same again, and we have our contractors group. Definitely do not want to give contractors any higher than the contributor role. If you've got an online assistant you're working with, if you've got a graphic designer who's doing something for you, probably not AI is taking all their jobs, unfortunately. If you've got somebody who works for you just by part time from time to time, and they just need to collaborate on a couple of documents, contributor role is probably the best one. If you have a fleet of, I don't know, maybe you're building houses and you've got a bunch of contractors who are just, they just need to see plans and deliver work based on those plans. You might just give viewing or commenting access. In the same example of a construction company, you might have like an induction guide in a Google Doc or in a PDF. You, maybe you just want to give viewing access to that so someone can just can just view it, right? You might choose the viewing one. In this case, I'm going to choose a contributor one because that's more common. All right, cool. If you want to get a bit more advanced for security, what we do on ours, I'll open up board here, is we have a dedicated group for IT operations. And that is actually the only one that is a manager. So it's actually only IT people that are the manager. We don't even let the executives be the manager because, you know, even though we have a very technically capable CEO, I want him to focus on being a CEO, not administering anything to do with our Google Workspace account. I don't want him accidentally clicking the wrong button, and he does sometimes, <laughs> and messing stuff up. So in that case, you may have members that are in here not even have the full management level. I think treasury is probably the same which is our finance. No one's got that full management level except for IT operations. And that's got, I think, two or three people, that's it. Yeah, there's three people there in the IT operations. No one else is in that group. So they're the only three people that can actually change everything. If, if you're a larger company, you wanna get more advanced, that's how, that's how you would do it. So we've got our setups there. We know how to move files in. If we need to move files in, we've done contractor view. Let's do the contractor view. So if I am a contractor, Go sign into my personal account here. So I'm in my IT Genius account now. And inside my IT Genius account, I can immediately see the contractors folder. I can see that files are owned by IT Genius Test. I'll be able to see anything that gets put in there. I go to my My Drive. I grab a random file. I go to put it into the contractors folder. And it pops up and says, hey, ownership is going to transfer from IT Genius to IT Genius Test. Everyone who can see contractors will gain access. Can't be undone. Important. Can't be undone. Cool. That's the flow and that's the setup. Now you can use these groups wherever you want. I'm going to show you some advanced settings for the groups now, but you can use those groups wherever you want. And these basically are your framework. And once the framework's done, then all you've got to do is add the right user and the right user gets access to everything as it's needed. If you need more help with what we've covered in this video, IT Genius provides support services to businesses all over the world with problems just like this. Click the link below to get started.